cover has declined almost everywhere. The mix of species has changed. There are far fewer three-dimensional corals that are important for providing habitat for all the rest of the biodiversity on the reef. The study is unusual in that we measured not just the cover of the corals, but their actual sizes. And we found that there are fewer large corals, fewer medium ones, and fewer small ones. And that means that the resilience of the reef, its ability to bounce back from recurrent mass bleaching events has been compromised. They breed every annual spawning event, but there are far fewer of those big reproductive mamas today than there were 25 years ago. Similarly, we found a lot fewer small baby corals, which indicates that the production of juveniles has declined by at least 50% in nearly every species on the Great Barrier. species has changed. There are far fewer three-dimensional corals that are important for providing habitat for all the rest of the biodiversity on the reef. do have a window of opportunity right now to try and achieve the Paris Agreement targets of one and a half to two degrees of global average warming. I think if we can do that through concerted action on greenhouse gas emissions, then we can secure a future for the Great Barrier Reef. But it already looks very different from what it looked like 25 years ago. And we expect that those kinds of changes will continue in future decades.